Welcome to App Design Tips. Before I start things off in this video, I want to show you a few new pieces of eye candy that I got. And that's this iMac G4 here. This was the first computer I ever owned when I was 16 years old. And it has a really iconic design, I love it. And to help the rest of my decoration stand out, I have a nice glow here in the background. So I hope you enjoy this. Now in this video, I wanted to redesign a login screen. And to do this, I wanted to pick the worst looking login screen that I could find. And that's the login screen from the Hunter app. Now Hunter makes fans and they make some really good fans, but they also have the worst functioning app that I have ever experienced. And if you don't believe me, we can visit their app store page and you can see the famous one star review. And we can see that there's some very ugly shades of gray and green. They have multiple shades of green, this fluorescent color here some muted shades of green. So even this logo here has a different shade than the rest of these artboards. So this isn't really what makes this the worst designed app that I've experienced. It's really just that it doesn't work. And that's a whole nother story. But for now, I wanna talk about their login screen and let's redesign this. So I took a screenshot of their current login screen and let's just talk through some of the things that I would do to change this. First of all, I have an iPhone 10, so we can see that there are some letter bars here at the top, so it's not formatted for the iPhone 10. Secondly, they don't use their logo, which I would do at the very first login screen, I would have their logo. And then they have just this weird looking guy just off to the side. So if we look at the visual components here, we can see that things really don't even line up. There's nothing that aligns here. I'm not even sure if these buttons are centered, they could be but it just looks like a really broken layout, no grids or anything. And that's really hard to mess up when you have a one column design, but they were able to figure it out. So, and the first thing I'm going to do is overlay some iPhone 10 components so that we know where our design boundaries are. And I think I also wanna add a status bar in here. So we have the basic frame for our iPhone 10. Now again, it's a login screen. We don't need to redesign anything really dramatic, just make it a simple login screen. And now let's just draw some rectangles here. I want this to be 45 pixels tall by 335 wide, and that's our form filled. Let's make this a five pixel rounded corner. And now we can add some text, so email address, and I wanna draw a rectangle behind this text. And the reason why is because I want to overlay this on top of this filled like so, and Let's just play with the sizing and really break up that stroke for this area. Now let's just go ahead and copy this down below. And I want this to be 20 pixels from the top and the bottom. And we're gonna name this password. And now we can resize this background. Real quick, if you're new to my channel and wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos. If you're enjoying this video and you wanna learn how to design and prototype in Adobe XD, I have a course on Udemy and I have a link in the description below with a steep discount if you wanna take my course. It'll walk you through the basics of Adobe XD and also how to design responsive prototype and things like that. So if you wanna master Adobe XD, I highly recommend this course. And now we wanna create a button. So I can copy this over here and I wanna create a button and I want to use the same color here. So I'm going to do that. And now you may also notice they're using black on green, which doesn't give it enough contrast and looks somewhat blurry, especially on smaller screens. So I'm going to call this sign in. I like that better than just enter. And we're going to make that white and that stands out much better, I think. Now let's bring this over here. I want a sign in button, something like that. And I want a few other pieces of text. In fact, this is 15 point, maybe let's make this uh, 13, make it a little bit smaller. So we're looking at some of these elements. Uh, I want this to say forgot password. And then here, I probably want 30 pixels in between here. And then one more piece of text here, and this is sign up. You'll notice here, I don't even have the option to sign up. It says, if you have a Hunter account, please log in. If not, tap continue with fewer features to begin. So it's just kind of weird. And I think I should be able to sign up right in the app. If I open up my Hunter fan and I'm getting it set up, I obviously don't have an account. So I wanna be able to sign in with my phone. So let's do that. And then I want these two links to have the same color so that people know that it's linkable. I think I wanna change this. It's a really ugly green and they have different shades of green that we wanna use. So for example, I think I like this shade of green better. So I'm just gonna take a screenshot of their little icon here and let's paste this inside of here. And now when we do this, I could grab this button, use the eyedropper tool and say, I want it to be this shade now. So that's a little bit more subtle. I think I like that. 
And then I think I want to take this color value and bring this into the background. And voila, that's just beautiful. Actually, let's just tone that down a little bit. I wanted to use the same shade, but I want to just make it a little bit lighter here. So just like a, a light gray, somewhat green, just barely having a splash of that same color. That looks good right there. And then here, I want to actually take this color here. I'm going to copy this color value. I'm going to paste this here. And same thing with this background, use the same color. And now it looks a lot better. So now I can bring these things down a little bit. And I want to now incorporate the Hunter logo. The login screen is one of the first screens that the user is going to see. If they don't have a splash screen, they may or may not. I don't think it hurts to add the logo here. So I'm going to go to their website and just copy this right into Adobe XD. And let's resize this. I think a little bit smaller is just more subtle. Starting to look much better. I'm starting to want to use this fan again. So now let's move this up. I like to move this a little bit higher because we're going to have a keyboard slide up here and I like to see all the elements if I can. And now you may not notice, but this background is a slight tint of green. And so when you use gray, like these strokes here, it might be a bit more blurred than I would like. So instead of using gray, I'm going to use black and then I'm going to turn down the opacity. And you can see that it's going to blend in some of that color of green but we get a more pleasing effect. So I'm gonna do that. Maybe do the same thing with these fonts. So let's come in here. Let's bring this down a little bit. I think that looks good. And next thing I wanna do is paste in an iPhone keyboard here. And we can see that we are able to see everything while we click on these elements. Now, the last thing really, if we wanna skip through this and if they wanna give them that option, I might just come over here and use this text skip and just bring this over here to the right. And so, yeah, they can continue with fewer features. I think primarily you're gonna want them to create an account and have those more features. So let's make that prominent here. So already it's looking much better. And I'm going to zoom out here and now let's create a few different states. I'm gonna delete those lines. And let's say this one right here, I'm gonna slide this keyboard down a little bit cause we're gonna use some animation. And I also want that to be behind these other indicators and Let's make this 0% opacity, and now it's 100%. So as soon as I tap in this area, I want this border to be the same color here. And same thing with the text, I want it to have this same color. And we can know that this is now in focus and that they're typing something in here. And we'll name this caleb at gmail.com. And that's not my email, so whoever starts to get emails here, I apologize. And now let's show you how you can prototype this screen. So I'm gonna go over to prototype. I wanna click on this email address, click over here. And now I want this to auto animate. So tap will auto animate. And let's give this 0.5 seconds just so we can see it a little bit better. And I'm just gonna test this out now. So click here and that slides out. That's looking really good. Just for demo purposes, I'm going to auto animate back. And now you can see how simple and clean this looks compared to their original screen. And that's how I'd redesign this Hunter app login screen. We're using one shade of green. Everything is a really consistent margins, paddings, and sizes. And we're more focused on the user and where the keyboard's gonna slide up so that we can still see these elements. It's just a really simple looking login screen. The only other thing that I would probably try to design in here is maybe a sign in using Facebook or Google just to make that sign up process a lot easier. And I think if they use this design, it would look much cleaner and they might be able to bump their one star reviews to one and a half stars. Now the login screen isn't the most important screen out there, but it is important to make sure it's always super simple, very easy because this is going to be the first gateway into your app. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and be sure to hit that bell icon.